What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Lately, it's been anything fun more than anything fast and today we're at XRP in Ferris, Texas. We've got this little comp car right here. 375 cubic inches. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's powered by an F3 Pro Charger. This thing makes some pretty big power and we're going to make some test runs. We've got some special surprises coming in this afternoon, but we're a little bit behind. Track's ready. Just warmed up the car and we're going to head up and let her rip tater chip. This is going to be loud. After putting this on in uh, Kansas, I remember how amazing even the pro stock suit is versus uh, the top fuel funny car suit. I always complain in pro stock about how thick this was and then I put this back on after the other suit and this feels like a windbreaker. And so this is a 15 SFI 15 which means that it's got, you know, a certain amount of layers of Nomex to keep it uh, fire resistant where, for, like, for, like, Pro Stock, it's probably overkill. Like, I don't think they even have to run anything this thick for, like, NASCAR or IndyCar where they carry, you know, tons and tons of fuel for hours at a, at a time. But the top fuel car or funny car is a SFI 20 which is like twice as thick as this. It's so thick that even to try to like bend your arms to put your hand on the steering wheel, like it's just so thick that it's, just, it's hard to do anything. You're just like through the Michelin man. What is it? I can't put my arms out. <laughs> so I have no complaints about this fire suit. Helmet, pawns, gloves, earplugs, head soft. All right, well, we're off to a normal Laughlin fashion of a start here. When Alex and Dad go racing, man, that brown stuff hits the fan for sure. Generator on the truck already quit, shelves collapsed, but we got a race car. Let's see what could go wrong here. <laughs> All right, so right now, what Galen's doing out there is he's spraying the track with VHT. Now, what that stands for is vehicular traction. I actually don't know what that stands for, but what it is is it's basically uh, just glue so that the racing surface gets extra sticky and the race cars get better traction than they would on any other surface had it not been sprayed there. So once he gets this done, let it dry for about 30 seconds and we're gonna fire this baby up. Now it feels kind of backwards putting only my suit on before I get in the car versus the top fuel stuff or not funny car stuff getting completely ready. started out pretty good left a little lazy as soon as the power came in it kind of started dancing around but we were struggling with that back in Kansas as well so I don't know just gonna look at the data over there with Mr. Mike and see what he says and see what changes we need to make to make it go better but I mean all things considering 
not a bad start. That's kind of what we were planning on. So, stand by. <sighs> I need to swear. Yeah. So, I opened the door and the doors oh, fell oh, off oh. in there. Look what a mess I got in there. I opened the doors and the whole door set fell off. the shelf that uh, my dad broke. Well, I guess he didn't technically break it, but he was the last one to touch it. He broke it. And we don't have an aluminum welder. So I'm gonna do this. I hope it works. I need a drill bit though. basically an engineer and if you didn't know you can watch our episode of the boat building Dustin said he was an engineer <laughs> see how that goes we'll have to do it again I really actually kind of felt bad for him I still feel bad for him he made his bed <laughs> and he freaking sank in it <laughs> <laughs> Just one thing's for sure that's not gonna fall out again. Even if I didn't do the bottom, it's not gonna fall. The problem is, is that the Kenny Laughlin tradition is to carry a lot of things that you don't need. One thing that we've never once ever used is this. But we have it. We got this. It's a charger with no plug. We've got three brand new uh, air hoses. So we've got a full air hose in here. We've got one outside. 1,600 feet of electrical cord. Um, just in the case that you needed to charge something the next state over. We've got these old flags. Um, this was a good one back here. The, it's like he's like at the part store. He's like, oh, we could use this in the trailer. We wouldn't ever use this at the racetrack, ever. I mean, safety glasses are fine. This is great, but again, you only have so much room in here. On top of the fact that after this whole thing fell, he was mad that I put all this other stuff in the floor that was on the counter. And he said, well, why'd you do that? I said, well, because all the stuff that we use is in the cabinets and all the stuff that we don't use is on the counter. 
So like, why? At least if we're gonna use the stuff that we're gonna use all the time, leave it, leave that stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, here it comes. issue there, low RPM, so we need to go back and check a few things. We'll get it. All right, second run. Absolutely terrible. Let go of the transmission brake and it just fell on its face. Uh, was a little confused, waiting on the guys to get down here uh, to pick me up, but I found the problem. This thing, like I said, has a pro charger on it. And just like any supercharger or engine for that matter, well, it needs air. And these little things right here are supposed to be out so it can breathe. Rookie mistake, guys. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yep, I know the problem. It's a rear steer. Yeah, yep. but, but I mean, it may be different once it hits the tire hard and is, you well, know, that's true too, going. Man. Don't tell him what happened. <laughs> Just don't tell him oh, what happened. Oh, I got you. Oh, he's, don't tell him. He's been wigging out. Oh, he's like, it don't, there's no fucking way. <laughs> well, it's sealing up pretty good. You know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It it's not, absolutely yeah. choked down. Well, I thought, I looked at the shifter, I'm like, I feel like it left in like third gear. You know, yeah. Bleh. Let's take it back. It was blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I guess we all should have noticed that. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't blow something up and do it a bunch of So I uh, cooperation to keep that from happening again. I'm going to put some yellow tape across here because here's the deal. Stuff happens, right? And this is a brand new car. We don't have like a normal routine down yet. And these things blend in with the front of the car a lot like there's not we haven't had to pull this stuff out like this in this instance since i ran pro stock like three years ago and these things you could just they go perfectly in the stripes of the car if you can't see them and they're tiny so what i'm gonna do here is put some yellow tape on them keep that from happening again right am i right Dion? you're right <laughs> All right, so after the second test run that was absolute garbage, we brought it back here, just went through everything, made sure that it's good to go. Uh, had a little bit of a hold up thinking that it wasn't. I don't know if that's really worth explaining because we don't really know what it was anyways. But it seems like it's good to go now and we're going to head up. Give her another shot. Hopefully, if this is the last one, or if this one is good and can be the last one, we'll be done for the day. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, we're, we suck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, we suck. what an old not person not thing to do. Yet, He's on the phone with the flashlight on. <laughs> in the car, we haven't really put much power to it.
This thing is gnarly. Oh my gosh, that thing is so sick. I cannot believe how fast that thing is. He said, if you've got the cojones, it'll run 75. He said it'll probably do 60 miles an hour in the eighth mile here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it was still on it, man. Dude. That's so, what I said. Like, you got the room? You know what I mean? The space? I have wanted one of these, and there was a company on social media that's been advertising something that looks just like this for 750 bucks. 100% a scam. And I like, started talking to the people. Long story short, like, you can just tell total scam. And because everyone that you see that's legit is like, like, Four thousand dollars. Yeah. That one was almost five. Wow. Yeah. So why are you selling them? Yeah. I mean, I had two of them. Yeah. You just, you know, stuff happens. Yeah. Whatever. It was not a big deal. Yeah. I love it. Love I mean, I just paid five grand for it. Yeah. But I did get it for a minute. But the company that built them, they they sell them. Name something you might hurt yourself riding on. Oh, Lord. You know what I'm thinking? All right, so Galen has allowed us to make a laugh on the trike. And, you know, I've got basically every other single NHRA license. At some point it's going to be a pro stock bike, but for now we're going to start with pro stock trike. He said this thing will pull a wheelie at like 45 miles an hour, and so I just don't know how brave I am to actually run it all the way out. So I'm just going to make that decision out there. <laughs> Does this thing need radio prep or slick prep? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> I just took it. I hit the gas on it over there a minute ago, a little too hard, and it about uh, flipped over backwards. And that's just on the concrete. All right, let me turn my lights on. <laughs> Your page of things that you rode and raced has got to be getting longer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's a book by now. It's a book. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool, man. All right. About as fast as I want to go. Oh, it looked like it was. Like it was yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. It was still. It was still climbing up, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this the nicest thing? <laughs> wow. Well, you can see good out of it. That's for sure. But this is the key. You gotta watch this thing and wait. Yeah. Oh, that's, you gotta wait yeah. for it. Yeah. And we've been having an issue on too much short shifting. Oh yeah. Well, it just like ends up by driving through a the thousand, thousand, not hundred, a thousand. Yeah. So you, you shift the first one with ten, and every one after that's twenty one. Oh, okay. Okay. So you just have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And when we're up here, I mean, we don't know what you know how I do everything. You know, we let them get comfortable. Just like we're gonna let you do your thing, you get comfortable. Dude, he said to me something fucking perfect. 
Feels good. Yeah. So, where does it like come on at if you're supposed to ship at 10 going to the first? It's like 400 first. first. Yeah, he's probably a little, it's a little slower than that. He okay. might be a little faster, but. Yeah, hey, we'll just have to yeah, see. We'll just have to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a little line lock here, a parachute here. Yeah. You're good to go. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. So, I mentioned earlier that there was a surprise coming in. That's up to you on if you think that was the trike or the Blackbird X. This thing is bad to the bone. It's basically a pro stock car, but a full size car instead of a 7 8 scale. And it's got a Whipple blown small block. Okay, this thing makes 1600 horsepower and runs about 200 miles an hour in the quarter mile. We're gonna be starting bright and early testing and this is the first time I've ever seen this thing. And the, the quick story is these guys raced in Charlotte last weekend, needed to make some test runs. Their driver couldn't make it. I said I was gonna be here in Texas today, running, making runs in that car. So they drove from Charlotte to Texas, going back to St. Louis for the race this weekend. So they made about a 20 hour detour to be able to make some runs here at XRP first thing in the morning. So we'll see you bright and early. Welcome back everybody. It is whatever day of the week it is at this point. Everything runs together because we work on the weekends, so it doesn't matter anyways, but just had breakfast. We're about to fire this baby up and go make some runs up here at XRP. This thing is like, it's basically like a high horsepower pro stock car. Uh, obviously it has a giant Whipple supercharger on top of it, but Cool thing about this is it looks everything chassis wise looks just like a pro stock car just a little bit bigger so uh five speed liberty transmission it's been a while since i've rode through the gears like that but man i'm pretty pumped to go run this thing so we're gonna head up here in just a second That is absolutely ah, insane. Ah, ah. Loud environment, again, shocker. Uh, so when you start this thing up, it initially sounds exactly like a pro stock car, like to the T, doesn't it? Yeah. And it is so smooth, so responsive, 10 times louder than a pro stock car. This freaking Whipple, dude. I'm such a fan of blowers. This is just, like what better combination, right? A pro stock car with a blower. Talk dirty to me. Steak, brother. Dude, bad <laughs> to the bone. It'll heal. This is insane. Well, you think it's gonna run? Dude, I can't even believe that. It, it revs and sounds so intense that it kind of makes my skin crawl. It's like, a little baby from my Dude. You know, just minus about 2,000 horsepower. I don't know, man. It, all right so as you saw we just warmed this thing up and it's ready to go uh how do i feel going into this honestly like just a little bit nervous just because i've never driven the car before obviously first time i ever sat in it was or even saw it in person was last night uh so just all of the unknowns are the things that kind of make it you know a little bit nerve-wracking on top of the fact that these guys literally drove a, it's a 20 hour round trip out of their way to go to the race this weekend to come out here and have me drive this car for them so i do feel like there's a lot of pressure on my shoulders because here's the thing what if they made this giant journey of 
time and money and everything they invested to be here and I can't do it. Like, what if I can't do it? Uh, it has been a while since I've ran a pro stock car. Um, heck, it's been a while since I've ran much of anything other than a nitro car and that'll just get you completely cross-threaded on everything else, so. The time's now though, so I'm gonna put my suit on and we're gonna go up there and we're just gonna make a make a run and see what happens. So, cross your fingers for me. I'd appreciate it. Everything on, 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 on. Okay. This thing is bad to the bone. Uh, I feel like all things considering that was just as flawless as you could ask for for the first run. Uh, typically in anything new, it's gonna be, there's a, the first run is always a throwaway run. That run was not a throwaway run. I will say though that the big thing that they warned me about with this car is you've got to weigh it on the shift light. A normal pro stock car, that shift light comes way, way earlier than what it does on this. And it's hard, man. You like, you leave the starting line, it's wheels up, you know, your adrenaline spikes a little bit. I actually have my watch on. Let's see what my, uh, if it says my heart rate. 115 right now. So, I, you know, I was a little excited. Here's the deal. Like, I don't know anything about this car. It's, it's completely foreign, you know, the seat, is different you know i'm sitting up straight you know um but all in all when i left the starting line you know it's like oh my gosh this thing's so cool and driver error i will say the first shift wasn't perfect the light did come on but i promise you the shifter was already in motion headed to second gear so i was just a little bit early probably two or three hundred rpm early but we at least have something to work with, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Because they're happy with it. About to find out. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I met the shift light coming on. It is definitely, I mean, I'm sitting there saying, wait, wait. And, and it's happening so fast, you initially think like, or I think I gotta like, go. 
Yeah. Maybe it's unplugged. Yeah. I need to check. <laughs> so yeah. so yeah. I wasn't a thousand RPM early. I was maybe three hundred. Yeah. But it sounds pretty good. You were okay. Because yeah. you coasted through four eighty one. It, it came and our, on. In our best in our best <laughs> our best eight miles four sixty four and you coasted through a four eighty one. Okay. Yeah. I cool. need I need to hit the light. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Good good deal. Deal. How hard was it to lift? I didn't want to. Yeah, I know. You, know. know. you should have just legged her on out, it's man. You did good. We'll go do another one. Oh, yeah, yes, we yeah, will. Yeah, we yes, will. we will. Yeah, we'll turn it up. That was a 119. Very, so that, was, that was meant okay. to be just a, let's figure out what we got. What well, yeah. was my light? We'll go 54. Okay. Well, I'm well, happy with that. Yeah, right? I haven't yeah, left the clutch on the long time. What do you mean? That's time. the best light we've ever had. <laughs> you, have, you have about 05 on everybody right now. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to listen and like see what he does, like what kind of RPM he's bringing it up to to save and little. All right, so update on the comp car last night because they kind of left you hanging. The guys with this car showed up and then the, the trike showed up at the same time. We just got a little bit too excited. So what happened with that was we ended up not getting to make our third run because the throttle position sensor took a dump. It's one of those things, you know, electronics these days, it's part of it. We didn't have a spare, unfortunately. So comp car's loaded in the trailer, about to leave here, headed to St. Louis. We're gonna put a new TPS on it there and just fingers crossed and pray that we're gonna be able to make a couple of good runs and qualifying and make the show and make some good runs but as far as me being able to drive that car personally i was able to take the full tree a couple of times had two good lights with no blinders on there which is kind of a crazy thing for running comp and uh i don't know i'm jazzed i'm so pumped about this thing right now that uh i just can't wait to turn it around and get back up there and go again Test hit number two update. It definitely left better. Uh, obviously can't tell until we look at the numbers, but another good run. Um, unfortunately, I did knock the first light out again. I was moving the shifter as the light came on, but this time there was a reason for it. My car was wheels up and uh, it was headed over towards the center line. When the wheels are up like that and there's no weight on the front end, Obviously you can't steer it. One way to be able to react and get through that is to pull her into second gear, let the clutch kind of slip a little bit. It'll set the front end down. And as you could see, front end came down, had to kind of steer it back a little bit, back and forth. But man, I mean, I feel like they've still got to be happy with that. Absolute worst case scenario. We're here to work on the 60 foot numbers and get that better. And so you don't even shift out of first gear until far beyond 60 foot anyways. So data collected, we'll go check it out. Give her another run, but it is hot in Texas. guys so up here for our third test run of the day made some changes to the car uh, after that t2 and tracks a lot hotter the idea is obviously to continue to get this thing faster and we're gonna know here in just a second
That was perfect. Like that was absolutely flawless. I don't know what it did on the racetrack, but I am absolutely ecstatic with uh, driving this car um, and the per performance on that side of it. So that was, that was good, dude. That was good. So, all right, progress. It, definitely progress. So hopefully these guys are happy. We'll see here in just a second. This is like the weirdest point in all of it, right? Because I don't know what went up on the scoreboard or what came out on the ticket on the time slip. And, you know, I'm just sitting here waiting. They all already know. They've already either been like high-fiving or been just like, you know, WTFing. And uh, I just got to sit here and wait. You know, yeah. not like them fantasy land conditions from this morning. Yeah, yeah that, that kind of almost hurt us because... Do you even remember how to pack sheets like this? Uh, dude, I'm so happy to pack these little tiny baby shoots versus the Top Fuel or Funny Car shoots because these are easy. I mean, look at it. It's like the size of a Walmart bag. That parachute's like the size of your pilot chute. Yeah, I know. And it doesn't have the giant spring on it, you know, that you have to sit on top of to get it to go in. Not a bad day of testing at all. Uh, the car made progressively better runs every single time. And that's 100% what all of it's about. Uh, this, this thing, this thing's bad to the bone and it is bad fast. And what's really cool about this Factory X car is that it's got like, it's got a powertrain, it's got a motor in it that basically is extremely relatable to anybody out there that whether they've got like a challenger or a hellcat of any sort uh, like my truck is a trx and essentially that's the exact motor that's in my truck right and so it's just it's cool to be able to see it in something like this especially with the manually shifted five speed transmission you know got a clutch um i think i think the guys are happy with where the car is i'm certainly happy with uh how I did in it you know I was definitely nervous like I said going into this deal because they made a huge investment in traveling alone to be here for me to wheel this car and so I'm certainly glad that I didn't let these guys down but uh, up next is St. Louis so we're gonna get this thing loaded up they're gonna head up over to uh, Missouri and uh, you know wish these guys luck uh, this weekend uh, the other driver will obviously be back in it uh, but uh, now I feel a little invested in this deal so i'm certainly going to be on the starting line to uh check out how it goes at the actual races so thanks for watching another episode thanks for tuning in anything fast anything fun this one was certainly fast it was loud and it was definitely fun so see you on the next one